Hello friends, this is Scott. I'm down at the hobby farm and I was able to record kind of a special moment. This cat is named Thang. I did not name this cat, the previous owner did, but uh, she's a cute little cat, but very timid, very skittish. And the only time I've been able to even come close to this cat was when the when the previous owner was around. And I was able to pet it on its nose once and then it took off. So today I'm by myself and the cat decided that Today is the day that she's going to try to trust me a little bit. So, so she decided she would need a little bit of attention. So uh, here's building a, a new beautiful friendship. And uh, she was a little bit, you know, still timid. And when I left, she was nervous and ran off again. So it's going to take a few more trips before she's ready to, to fully warm up. I think I'll bribe her with some food next time too. And that'll, that'll probably help. But this cat will live out its life with me here. And uh, that was my deal with the previous owners, that, that the cat was welcome and, and I will take good care of the kitty and, uh, and uh, we'll become really good friends, I think. But, and they, they help with mice and things like that. I've yet to see a mouse down here, so these cats must be doing a good job. But again, this is Thang and uh, hopefully we'll see more of Thang in, in future videos. And we had a little gopher success. And this is what it looks like. I apologize to those who don't like trapping of animals, but this is the only way to really get rid of pocket gophers, the most successful way. They just tear up your yard and eat the tree roots and everything, and you got to get rid of them. This is a small one. This is a northern pocket gopher. As you see the teeth and the claws, it's amazing how much dirt uh, these, these little critters can move around and how much destruction they can do underground in your, uh, in your yard. So I've got, you know, I don't know, I've got probably anywhere from eight to 10 of these. Got to get rid of them. Here's the dumpster, 15 cubic yards, and that's why I came down. Uh, was to get on this project. You know, I've been really excited to get rid of the big pile of garbage that's been sitting in the backyard, and here it is. And what I did find, mostly in this pile, I didn't know if I was going to find rodents or skunks or, or whatever, uh, but what I did find were wasps. That was about all I found, and, and uh, the previous owner is, you know, still hanging out at the house a little bit, and and uh, staying on until they get transitioned, and he got stung by a by a wasp in another part of the yard. So I was fortunate. I loaded up the dumpster and didn't get stung. But there's lots of wasps in here, and they're the bigger wasps. They're not the yellow jackets, thank God, because if there were yellow jackets in here, I would have got it quite a few times, I think. But there's quite a bit of stuff from an old chicken coop, and I got a 15 cubic yard dumpster, which is the medium size, and I'm not sure how far it will go. Here is after. And I still have a few things I got to grab. This one, this little piece of uh, landscape edging is stuck under some dirt, so I got to cut that. But still got a good pile of, le of tree limbs and sticks. And I had the dumpster, and I did fill it up more than this. I don't think I filmed it, but I, I got it all the way a little bit over the top, which you're not supposed to, but eh, it turned out okay. So they came and got the dumpster early in the morning, and let's see what it looks like without some of the garbage there. Still have a lot of sticks to get rid of and so I don't know if I'm going to burn them or if I'm going to just use them as hugel culture as the base but you see these ruts in the road here that's going to be my next job is uh, once I get the fence totally done is to fill those ruts up with all this dirt that's mounted up here but got rid of quite a bit of the sticks but there's still still quite a bit there but most of the trash is gone that's mostly dirt there underneath all those weeds so I've got more cleanup to do but I'm just going to move this dirt and fill in and rocks and fill in the pathway there in the in the driveway so that uh, there's not a lot of ruts. I'm starting to spend uh, more time down here. This was a weekday trip, so it was nice to get down and uh, and do some watering too. So I've been watering a couple times a week now. And again, the dumpster, 15 cubic yards, a couple hundred bucks. Filled quite a took quite a bit of stuff to fill it, and then after I had to go. We'll, to a local restaurant, and that's why I like little towns, because they always give you the best, maybe the unhealthiest food, but it sure is filling and it, and it hits the spot. So I'm, I'm enjoying a, a good meal out. Well, thanks for watching today's video, and if you like what you see, please subscribe. Thank you.